Hello, this is Gio, and this is a sink, a bathroom sink, actually. And quite often, many of you realize that sinks sometimes get plugged up and don't drain well. And for bathroom sinks, they quite often get plugged up where the pop-up stopper comes up. Hair and debris gets caught up around the pop-up stopper. And it's very difficult to get this, these off. And I will show you how to clean these stoppers. So the first step is just to take the top of the pop-up stopper. If, if you uh, untwist it counterclockwise, they normally do just come off. And you can just take it off. It looks like that. And there's normally a plastic, sometimes metal, um, little kind of a, looks like an X across uh, in there that comes up and down as you go in and out. And this one's actually a little bit stuck. Um, yeah, and um, so this one does have some problems. And sometimes you can uh, take some needle no nose pliers and get, get some of the larger debris out. But that's typically not how it's done. You actually have to do it from the under underside. You have to disconnect this piece first. So this is the underside of the sink. You see the, the drain line, the P line, the on and off uh, hot and cold water lines here and there. But behind this pipe, you also see where the pop-up bumper connects. And that's right here. Let me get a better angle. Okay, so this is a little bit better angle. Now, this bar here that's all bent out of shape is where the, the little lever that you um, move up and down uh, so the pop-up bumper goes in and out. It controls this arm that goes into this pipe and this actually moves that internal pop-up stopper in and out, up and down. So this is kind of the control mechanism. And this all bent out of shape because you could actually pinch this and move it out and actually readjust this to different heights. So this is easily removed and it just there's a little just a pinch thing that you can come in and out. So that's the first thing we did. We removed that to disconnect it with this arm. So the second step which we do is we actually need to get this little piece, this this screw piece off. And quite often you can do it by hand but um, this one is moving. But sometimes you need some pliers uh, to get this off. But before we remove this I'm going to stick a pan underneath this sink because if it is plugged up there might be some water here and it could leak out when we remove this piece. So I'll go ahead and do that first. So I put the little bucket underneath this, the, the sink and I'm just going to reach behind here and try to unscrew this by hand. There we go. And I'm just unscrewing it. And then you can take this piece off, and this whole piece comes off. And you, this is this is the seal. So if it leaks from that end, uh, that's probably one one problem. But you want to keep all these together. So I'm just going to put it down here, and so that just removed there, and that should disconnect the little the little pop up. Um, this little bar that went inside here and was stopped by this ball. This, as it goes up and down, controls that plastic piece, and I'll show you how that worked. So we're back from the top, and you can still see the little X plastic piece, and if I could reach down there, maybe I can't, but I might need some needle nose pliers. Oh, I got it. Now it just comes straight out, and you can see how grody it is. So let me uh, clean this off first. Not in this sink, because I have the uh, pipe open, so I'll, I'll clean this off in, in a different sink first. Okay, so I cleaned off this little this little um, stopper, and normally it stands like this with this little uh, plate facing uh, the back of the sink. And so when we had this in the pipe, it actually fit in like this. And so when this moved, uh, uh, centered in this little ball, it'd go up and down, up and down, and would lift and move this plastic piece up and down. And it's as simple as that. It's a pretty easy design, but it does get clogged up. And so we cleaned it off, and now we're going to reinstall. 
But before we reinstall, I'm just pulling out all the goop that was in that drain. And all of this was being held by that pop-up um, pop up stopper. So you got to clean this out first. And this is actually even leaves in here. So I'm not sure where that came from. But uh, we'll go ahead and finish cleaning out this drain and install the, the, the stopper. So I went ahead and put the uh, top piece back on just so this won't slip down too far. And again, it goes with this little plate facing um, the, the spigot end. So go ahead and place that down straight and just leave it like that and we'll go from behind, uh, underneath. Okay, so from underneath, I've already inspected this washer. It could be replaced, but I think I'll just leave it as is for now. And I just put this in just like this, put the ball in, then I put this little seal in there, and then I slip, it's kind of hard to do this with one hand, but I slip this little screw piece on top, just like that, and I just simply screw it back in. And you could do it hand tight as best you can, or use some pliers to get it tighter, but it doesn't require much to be sealed, and the tighter you have it, the harder the plunger will move. So as, as this tightens up, this will barely move, and you want it to move a little bit. So we went ahead and did that, and now I'm going to stick this little piece back in here, kind of straighten it out. And actually I have to put the little clip in first, put this piece in, and then follow it up with the clip again and like that and kind of put it in a little straight. Now now it should be in okay and you can move it up and down to make sure that it has a full range of motion and that it will actually stop the once it's up that will stop the water. But you could also adjust it with this little adjuster here that you just screw and, and move this up and down the arm and so if, if you could adjust the stopper accordingly. So let's go up and make sure it works. Okay, so we're back up here and I did notice I didn't quite get it in the hole. So we'll have to pull it back out and try to get that metal rod back in the hole. So we'll go ahead and do that again. So here we go. And it actually helps if you do the top and bottom at the same time. So I got this full range of motion. It's in there. I go in, out, and it's high enough. It might be a little too high, I'll have to readjust that, but it does seal very nicely. Add some water here, and it drains. So I'm happy with this, it drains a lot better. It's a little bit of a sh uh, hit and miss with trying to get that rod in this plastic piece, but it's not that difficult. So. Uh, I hope to see you next time.